In the previous video, we talked about multi-line expressions. On a related note, let's talk about multi-line strings. So these will be strings that span multiple lines. But let's start by reviewing what we talked about already with multi-line expressions. And we saw that there were a couple of ways to realize these multi-line expressions. We could write a backslash, I'll say the backslash, character at the end of a line to indicate line continuation. In other words, when the interpreter sees that backslash character at the very end of the line, it knows we, the programmer, are saying, hey, this expression continues on the next line. We're not done with our entry. Alternatively, we could enclose the expression in parentheses. And what we did here was put the open parentheses on one line and then the corresponding close parentheses on a subsequent line. Okay, let's see if either or both of those techniques will work with strings. And let's start with the backslash approach. And let's start writing a string. We'll use a double quotation mark, our tried and true hello space. And then let's put this backslash character and hit return. And we don't get the interactive prompt back and we don't get an error and the blinking cursor indicates Python's waiting for more input. So let's continue with the string. Let's go with world, put a, another double quotation mark, and now when we hit return, we get the string hello world. It does not include that backslash character. That backslash character was just there to serve to indicate line continuation the string continues on the next line. So we get hello world here. So we can say that a string can span multiple lines if a backslash character is written at the end of the, and I'll put parenthetically, non terminal line or lines. And by non-terminal, I just mean we don't put the backslash character on the very last line. We put them only to indicate line continuation. And when we're done, there shouldn't be any backslash on the last line. Okay, so the backslash character as the line continuation character works for expressions, it works for strings. Now that other way we got multi-line expressions was with enclosing the expression in parentheses. Now, let's try that with strings. I would guess that maybe I could put an open parentheses, the double quotation mark, hello, and now when I hit return, hopefully I can continue the string on the next line, and here I'll hit return, and oops, no, that's not going to work. We get a syntax error and EOL means end of line, so this is telling us end of line while scanning string literal was the problem. And in other words, Python just couldn't make sense of this. So it turns out the parentheses approach to multi-line expressions doesn't work for multi-line strings. But there's another way to enter strings that can span multiple lines, and it's actually an extremely useful little trick, and you'll encounter it quite a bit. So what we can do is we can say that a string can span multiple lines if the enclosing quotation mark is repeated three times. Okay, I'll demonstrate that in just a second, but before doing that, I just want you to recall that slash n 
is the new line character. It says terminate the current line, start on the subsequent line. And as a further reminder, we wrote something like hello, the new line character world. And then if we print that string with the new line character embedded in it, we get hello on one line and then world on the next. Okay, so let's go back to what we just said, that a string can span multiple lines if the enclosing quotation mark is repeated three times. So repeat a quotation mark three times. Let's go with a double quote, a double quote, a double quote. Then hello. I'll hit return and the blinking cursor is on the next line waiting for further input. Let's go with world and then repeat the same quotation mark three times. And now we see that the carriage return or new line character that we typed when we were writing in this string literal is captured within the string itself. So we could do this if I say print and the triple quotation mark hello and then world the triple quotation mark and then we close down the argument for the print function hit return we get hello new line world note that sometimes we'll call these triple quotes even though it's a quotation mark repeated three times so we could use single quote repeated three times so there's a single quote three times hello hit return and then world and the single quote repeated three times and again we get hello with the new line character embedded in it and then world. Finally I'll note that you can use these triple quotes or a quotation mark repeated three times for strings that don't span multiple lines. For example we could say print and the double quote repeated three times hi there and then the double quote repeated three times hitting return we get hi there that string output but generally there's no reason to use triple quotes unless the string is spanning multiple lines in other words why type three quotation marks when you can just use a single quotation mark for strings that don't span multiple lines. As mentioned before, we'll spend quite a bit of time discussing strings, but we wanted to discuss multi-line strings now because we'll encounter them before we get to our in-depth investigation of strings.